I'm Dortel Williams, and I'm glad we were all able to come together and heal to share. And I have three things that I want to say. First, I like the t-shirt. There is no shame. Because when we expose our shames, from what I've learned from studying trauma, shame dissipates. And as we've all witnessed ourselves, we might not have thought about it. But as we share our shame and we're still accepted, that's when we know the healing is on the way. So as we continue to transfer out, whether going home to other institutions, I hope that we can take this mindset with us and continue to help other brothers and other people to heal as well. The second comment I wanted to make is that as we went through ACEs and we heard all of the different uh, di traumas that we experienced, what's interesting to me is that whether it was violence, drugs, how we treat one another, abuse, when we come to prison, unfortunately, the way things are set up now, prison is, a extin is an extenuation and a perpetuation of those same traumas. And that's why it's really important that we continue to push the path for healing and teaching and love within the prisons because it's the same thing that we've been going through since our childhood. And I think that's very important for us to remember as we, as we leave here. And third, we've heard some of the brothers talk about uh, the traumas and trying to overcome them. And resilience is the answer. And I'm just going to name a few, but the brother said reading the Bible, exercising, sharing your shame. Those are tools for resilience, to taking these classes. As we continue to do that and we grow, I just hope we'll all take up the mantle and the responsibility to share with the next person who doesn't know, because that's how we get rid of shame. Thank you, brothers. Thank you. Thank you so much. So we're going we're gonna to be going back and forth. We're gonna